Hi, this is Khadar, and today we are going to make a wave to on and wave to off circuit. So, what actually the circuit is? When you wave over the circuit, it will switch on an appliance in your house, say for example a fan or a light, and if you wave again, it will switch off the appliance. So, let's see how we can make it. So I have connected the circuit and given the power supply from my regulated power supply, I given 5 volts and you can see that initially one of the LED is light and let's wave the hand and see if it works. So I'll wave my, wave my hand over it and you can see that the LED is changing. So when I wave it once, the green LED, this one, changes to blue and blue is switched on and green is switched off. So if I wave again, the blue is switched off and the green is switched off. Have a closer look. So the distance for the height it can cover is So the circuit still works from a one foot distance. So this is a closer look of the LEDs changing when I move my finger over the sensors. So in this circuit, the rays from this IR LEDs get reflected from our hand and reach this photodiode. And this photodiode switches on and off this transistor and this transistor gives the clock to the 4017 decade counter. And depending on the clock, it may switch on the load at second pin or the load at third pin alternatively. So if the load at second pin is on, the third pin will be off and if the load at third pin is on, the second pin will be off. And uh, this is the zeroth state, this is the first state and the fourth pin is the second state. So what I did was I connected the fourth pin to the 15th pin, 15th pin is the reset pin of the 4017. So initially, sorry, this is 0 and this is 1. So initially, when the circuit is switched on, third pin will be high. And when I give first clock, it will go to the second pin. Second pin will be high and the third pin will be low. And the, for the third clock, the fourth pin will be high. But what I did was, when fourth pin is high, it will trigger the reset pin. And again, the third pin will be high. So in this way, it's uh, connected. And in my circuit, I connected LEDs in the place of loads, but what you can do is you can connect a relay in the place of load and uh, you can operate home appliances like fans and lights which work on 220 volts. So not just that, if you can separate the transmitter and receiver, you can use the transmitter as a remote and the receiver as a receiver to operate your home appliances. So I have made this one few days back. So this is the block I made few days back. It has a receiver fitted inside. This is the photodiode. And there is a relay fitted inside which can switch on and off the power, 220 volts power coming to this socket. And when you, uh, for this you can use any IR transmitter, not just the one you made, but you can, you can even use the TV remotes or this mini music player remote to switch on and switch off the socket. So let's test it. So I have connected the block to a fan. This fan is connected to that socket. And I will use this remote control to switch it on and switch it off. So I can press any key to switch on the socket. So let's test it. You can see that the fan is running and the red LED glowing there indicates that the power is coming to the socket. So now it's switched on. If I press any button again, it will switch off. So now it's switched off. So this is how you can make it. So that is how you can make your own wave to on, wave to off circuit or a, or a simple remote controlled appliance operation circuit. So if you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you.